Hi, I wanted to give you an analogy for um, circuits. There's a lot of different analogies for circuits. Uh, this is one that if it's useful to you, great. If it's if you don't like it, then just don't use it. But you might try it out. I I use this analogy um, all the time for myself and for my students. So um, the analogy is one of um, equating a circuit to a shopping mall. So I'm hoping that you have some experience with shopping malls where you go into a shopping mall and you use escalators and stairs and go shopping for things. <laughs> so um, let's see. Here's the analogy. For this um, analogy, it's only used for voltages, first of all. It's not used at all for um, currents or anything else in the circuit. It's just for voltages. So the battery is going to be an escalator for this analogy. So batteries are escalators, resistors, and if you have capacitors, um, it can be capacitors too, but they're going to be the staircases. So the resistors are the staircases. And then the wires in the circuit, are, you can consider them as like hallways in the mall, like where the stores are, um, where you walk in to a store from one of the hallways. Okay, so um, let's take a look at how this analogy works. So imagine that you have this um, circuit, you got a 12 volts, a uh, bat 12 volt battery, and these resistors, notice I'm not giving you the resistance of the resistor, I'm giving you the voltage across the resistor. So this, this resistor has two volts across it, this resistor has four volts across it, and so on. Notice that the loop rules being obeyed here, because if, if I go up 12 volts, I come down, um, when I go around this loop, I gotta drop all those those volts. So if I go up 12, then I come down two, down four, and down an additional six, that's 12 volts around that loop. Same thing with this loop, and same thing with this loop, and so on. Now, um, this analogy then is gonna be one where you think of the battery as being an escalator, and um, the the negative end of the battery we're going to consider to be the ground floor of the mall. So here's the ground floor of the, floor of the mall. Like if you come in from the street, you're going to come in in this hallway, somewhere in this hallway. All this is the ground floor. This is the ground floor right here. Everything here is the ground floor. And then um, you go, you take the elevator up, say 12 steps. So you take the elevator up to here, and now you're at the highest part in the mall. So the highest part in the mall is right here, and you can walk around, you can do some shopping, maybe go to the Gap or whatever, I don't know what stores are at malls, but you, you can go to the different um, stores, and then um, maybe you wanna go down some steps and try a different level. So this is the highest floor in the mall. And then you walk down some steps too, and then you do some more shopping. And then you get to here, and um, you, can, you can either go this way or this way, but you're not going down any steps. So this is the second floor. This is the top floor of the mall. Here's the second floor of the mall, uh, the second highest part of the mall. It's all this. This is all one floor. It's all at the same height. And then you can walk down some steps, maybe eat at a, eat at some place, and then you walk down a few more steps, and then you're on the ground floor. So this is the ground floor. Okay, so you see how this works? So these are stairs, and it just makes sense then that if you're here in the mall, if you're right here in the mall, and you take these steps down, and you get to some other height in the mall, that if you go the other way and take the steps down and get to the same height in the mall, that these had to be the same voltage drop. They have to be the same amount of steps going down because they got you, it's assuming that all steps have the same height to them. Okay. All right, so that's the mall analogy. Let me give you, I'm gonna take the same circuit and I want you to see how this works then with like, a, if you put a voltmeter to the circuit, Okay, this is the same, this looks really messy, it looks much more com complex, but it's really just this circuit, and I've labeled some points, okay? Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the voltages of a bunch of different um, 
potential differences around this circuit. Now I just want to remind you that when you say the voltage at A with respect to J, that's what that means. It's the voltage at A with respect to J, the voltage at C with respect to H. Okay, the voltage at E, where's E? Here's E. The voltage at E with respect to ground. This is the ground floor. So this is this this ground floor is in the circuits called ground. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to um, take my voltmeter and I'm going to, um, if I have a red and a black end of my voltmeter, so this is the black end and the red end, of course, and um, I want you to see that the voltmeter will always tell you what the voltage is at the red end with respect to the black end. The black is the reference. Okay, so it tells you the potential at the red end relative to the black. So if I'm if I'm trying to measure the voltage at A with respect to J, then I would put my red end, my red end at A, and I would um, put my black end at J, and then I would read the voltmeter. And it would tell me that the um, that the um, A is 12 steps higher in the mall than J, or 12 volts. So this is 12 volts. Now if I were to um, flip these around, now I'm asking the voltmeter to tell me how much higher or lower J is than A. So J is actually 12 steps lower in the mall, so that would be negative 12. So whenever you flip those around, it flips the sign on the voltage. Okay, Let's find the voltage at B with respect to A. So this one's the voltage at B with respect to A. So I'm going to start, I'm going to put my red end at B and my black end at, at, at A. Now notice um, that when I do that in the mall, B is no higher than A in the mall. They're both on the, the highest floor in the mall. So if, if the, the voltmeter is going to tell you how much higher B is than A from a voltage perspective, it's going to be zero volts because you don't have to go up any steps to, get from, to go from A to B. You don't have to go up any steps. Okay, what about C and H? The voltage at C with respect to H. So I'm going to put my red end at C and I'm going to put my black end, that's my red end at C, and my black end at H, where is H? Here's H. Okay, now um, I can go, I can just go this way. If I were gonna, if I'm in this mall and I wanna get from from, from um, H to C, I could go this way, walk up eight steps, and then get to C. So it's eight volts higher. I could go this way too, go up eight, eight steps, so it's eight steps higher. Um, I could go all the way around. Let's do that just for fun. So I'm going to go down two steps. This is two volts. I'm going to go down two steps and I'm going to go up 12 and then I'm going to come down two more. So that's eight steps higher again. So the voltage at C with respect to H is eight steps higher. The voltage at H with respect to C then would just be the opposite. It's eight steps lower in the mall. Okay, this is say asking how much higher is the the voltage? How much higher is E than ground? Okay, so we can start at the ground floor, and let's work our way up to um, E. So here it goes. I'm going to go up two steps, and then I'm going to go up another eight steps. So it's ten volts higher. Now you might be wondering why am I sometimes adding and sometimes subtracting the voltage? Well the current in here, we're going with conventional current, the current is flowing this way. And so whenever you go, the current would go this way, and it would flow this way, and this way, and this way. So whenever you go against the current, you add voltage, you add, you're going uphill. Kind of like when you walk upstream in a, in a river, when you're, going, when you're walking along a riverbank and you're walking against the flow of the water, like you're walking upstream, you're walking uphill. So that's 2 volts and an additional 8, so there is your 10 volts. Okay, so the voltage at B with respect to ground, let's find where B is. Oh, here's B. Okay, I can figure out how, B, how much higher B is than ground either by measuring it and I could put my ground, my ground wire anywhere here, or here, or here, or here, 
anywhere is going to be the same value. It's going to, uh, the voltage at B with respect to ground is, uh, I could I could go this complicated way, but let me just walk this way and take the elevator up and it's 12 volts higher. It's just 12 steps higher in the mall. So that's the mall analogy. If it works for you, great. Um, if you don't like it, I'm okay with that. Um, but I, I use it all the time. It's a, I think it's a really um, nice way to look at, at circuits, especially um, when you get into some of the other circuits that come that, that are later on in the, in the course. All right, thanks. See you.